Hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would share with you a couple of my favorites. Now I don't have a whole lot of favorites. I don't usually do a whole lot of shopping hauls and things of that nature. Yeah. So the first thing I want to share with you is a CBD oil. And I have to give total credit for this to Marlene Fab and Glam. I don't think I would have ever have gotten a CBD oil for my face if I did not watch her video. And then if I did not talk to her about the results that her daughters were having with it. And that really got me excited about it. I did a little bit more research. I watched a video from Dr. Dre. I, I know many of you follow her, so I'll link that video if you want to see it below, as well as Marlene's video. But anyways, I ended up buying, and this is the Age Defying Facial Serum. And this is by Flora and Bast. I ended up buying this at Sephora. It's not inexpensive. I would also recommend that you keep this stored in a dark place because it does have a clear glass just as a pre preventative. What I've been doing since I've been using this is after I wash both morning and night before I do anything else, I put this on. I only take about maybe four drops on my palm of my hand and then I put it all over my face, including around my eyes, my nose, all over, and then anything left over goes down my neck and onto my hands. I do this twice a day. So what I can tell you over the short period of time is that I would repurchase this, even though it's only been a week and a half, I would repurchase this or an other CBD oil with this type of ingredients and concentrate without a whole bunch of other fillers, a whole bunch of other things. I would definitely repurchase this no matter the price. I'm that impressed with it. Let me just tell you that since I've been using it, you all know I'm a Retin-A user. So I suffer from flakes. I do. I have, my skin turns over. I have a lot of flakes. Like usually I'll do my Retin-A for sometimes five nights consistently and I give myself a break. And usually in that phase, I am peeling somewhat slightly no matter what. I exfoliate. I might do all sorts of different things to try to control it. I'm, I'm usually, especially at the end of the day right here, I'm like Flake City. And then I go off my Retin-A, then I go back on my Retin-A. When I go off my Retin-A, I should give myself a break, you know, maybe two nights a week. Then I go back on and I have really good skin for, for two days because the Retin-A takes a couple of days to kick in. Since I've been using this, my flaking has probably gone to from, you know, 80% of flakes to maybe 5%. It's almost completely gone. I put this on. I have not, since I've been using this, added anything else but serums. I haven't done any other kind of moisturizer. I haven't done anything else yet. So I use my normal serums at night with this and in the morning with this. But I will tell you, four o'clock in the afternoon, my skin is not flaking. It's really, really in good condition. I also noticed that I had a pimple as it and it was a pretty big one. And this in two days, I mean, it never got bad. I could feel it brewing. You know how you can feel it brewing? Oh, it sounds wacky, but you can. And it never got bad. So I am loving this stuff. Thank you so much, Marlene Fab and Glamp, for turning me on to that. The other thing, and I've mentioned this because I have raved in the past about the Living Proof. And this is the perfect hair days. I absolutely love this stuff. I have raved about this. I've used this at weddings. My hair has stayed pl in place. I have a lot of texture, a lot of body. I love this. Well, along came Marge who said, Monica, and I'll link her information before. She said, Monica, you got to try this helium fiber flex. Now I talked about this in a previous video. I'm pretty sure it's already been up. This is a multifunction fix, define, and lift. This so far has blown away any other fiber type of a spray or bodybuilding type of a spray that I've used and I've used many including my Living Proof. It's just knocked it right off the shelf. So this continues to be a favorite of mine. I will reorder. I did buy this with my own money and I will reorder it. Unfortunately you can only get it on the website. I'll link the information but I love it. The other thing that's kind of turned into a favorite this month, even though this is another thing I've only used two weeks, and I think I've mentioned this in a previous video. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This is leg makeup. When I talked about it in my previous video, people were saying, oh yeah, I know about that. I use that. Well, who knew? I didn't know. I had no clue this existed until I watched, it was Jackie Blue Beauty, her, anyways, on Instagram. 
she was talking about it. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. And then I watched her video on YouTube and she talked about it again. I said, I gotta go get it. So I went and I got it. I love this stuff. This, this stuff, now I have it in beige glow, all different colors. You shake it and what you do, and I'm just gonna put a little bit. You put it in your hands and on your clean legs and you go down your legs. And you just, you can apply it a couple of times. What it does, it, 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 it doesn't give you like an artificial tan, but it gives you the appearance that your legs are all smooth. It's almost like you're wearing a pretty pair of pantyhose. It's like amazing. Your veins, your nubbies, they'll fade. They won't go away. They'll fade in the sense of being covered with this. And it lasts. So I was able to, I took, I put it on. I've been able to, when I take a shower, two showers, and not, you know, just have the water running down soap from my body and all that stuff. And it was perfectly fine. Now on the third day when I went to shave my legs, then I could see I needed to apply some more. But I absolutely love this. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. And if you haven't tried it, it is really cool. Let me show you on my hand. Now again, I have the, it is very runny. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just gonna put it on my hands. You probably can't tell anything. And you could put it if you had like veins on your legs or you just wanted to have a more smoother look. So I just basically have leg makeup on my hands. <laughs> and then you just wash your hands and you know, it'll come off. You, they say that once you spray this on, don't do anything, don't put any, any clothes on over it, don't go to bed. I'll let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, you're totally fine. Once it dries and absorbs in, you're fine. And the next day you can just add some more to the palm of your hands if you want, do a retouch. It, 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 you can wear a sundress like I have on. Well, if you want to call this a sundress, but it is a very casual flowy dress. Not have to worry about having pantyhose, which I think is really super, super cool. The, the other things that I very rarely talk about and love, and I will link this below. I often get you guys asking me about what do I have for little glitter spots on my eyes. My preference is the Color FX Amethyst. I love this. I'm going to put this on my hand. I love this. And I usually just put a tiny bit on my middle of my lid, and sometimes I smudge it in. The other favorites I have, and this is the same thing, but you can see this is the Rimmel. This is the Scandalize, and this is in Prohibition Pink. I'm gonna put that on my hand. Whoops, I just lost my, I just lost the, um, the point. The Rimmel is very, very, very soft. And then the third one that I have is the NYX, and this is the, the Strawberry Milk. So I just want you to see. I very rarely talk about these. I don't even know if you can see them. But basically over here is the cover of X and Amethyst. And then in the middle is my Rimmel Scandalize in Prohibition Pink. The very is the last one. And that one is just really, it's just really pretty. And that's usually just gives me a pop of glow in the middle. I love using my, and I've used this for a long time. I've got a link for this. Julie Smith here on YouTube is an Avon rep and I buy my Avon through her. So when I link my Avon products in my description, you're actually going to Julie's Avon's shop and you'd be buying it under her, which I think is awesome. I love supporting other content creators. Anyways, I found my blush. This is, I think, Mad About Mauve. And this is the blush that I have talked about many times as a favorite, as a blush that I've used and used and used over and over again. I absolutely love it. I also found my lip liner that I've talked about. And this is the lip liner in Perfect Plum. Now I'm going to put this on my hands too. So if you press dark, which I just did, I don't know if you can see it. If you press dark, it gives you a dark line. If you press lighter, it just gives you a lighter line. You see the difference. Maybe many times I overline my lips. I don't know, but that is my preference. I've tried many lip liners. I've tried many blushes, and I know there's some really nice high-end blushes. There are beautiful blushes. There are women that have like 90 blushes in their makeup collection. And, and I just keep going back to my Avon this is my tried and true. I keep going back to my Avon. I keep going back to my Avon lip liner. I just recently bought a whole bunch of Maybelline, Maybelline lip liners. I don't like them. So I just keep going back. Yeah. You know, I always say that I'm not a, a brush fanatic. I, I use the same brushes over and over again. I will tell you that. I have two that are Shana B. I think Shana B Miami that was sent to me. I also have some awesome Sigma brushes. I love the face brush. I have quite a few of the, I have the, the eye shading brush from Sigma 
and this is the one I use the most. This is the Small Tapered Blending E45. Small Tapered Blending E45. This one I really love for most of my crease work. And then I have a Real Techniques. This is the last thing I just go over and, and buff. So, you know, these are the, that when I went away, these are the brushes I packed. I also packed with me, because I really like this, is my Sigma brush cleaner. Now the Sigma brush cleaner, the Sigma brushes were sent to me from Sigma in a PR package quite a while ago, as was this really cute little suction cup brush cleanser. You put it in your sink and all that. That was all sent to me from PR, but I will tell you I really like them a lot and I think they're great products. So those are my brushes of choice. Lastly is my hair. You may, if you watch me on Instagram, you would have already seen this probably, but this is definitely turned into a favorite of mine. I absolutely love this. This is actually a called a Trendy Do, and this is from Hairdo. This is a hair wrap. I bought this through wigs.com. They were having a huge sale, and I saw these two wraps. The color I have on is in Butter Toast. I bought two of them. That's how much I really like them. So I wore them to work and I got a lot of compliments. Jay loves it. I'm gonna just turn around really quick so you can kind of see. What it is, it's a wrap that goes around you here on the top. And it has these longer pieces of hair, which I think is awesome. I think it's really awesome. So I bought two of these. I absolutely love them. You know, in the summertime, I like nothing better than to put my own hair up. I think it's really great. And I just really like it a lot. I also bought myself a new wig. I'll show you the clip of the new wig. I'm not ready to wear it, but this was on a super, super sale. I really got a good price on this, and it's just that it's a straight look. So I will probably wear that in a future video. I have started for my own hair the Cara Health, and this is Cara Health France, clinically studied ingredients. It's a dietary supplement designed to reduce hair loss, stimulate hair growth, enhance hair brightness. It has all sorts of antioxidants and amino acids. This is for women. You take two capsules a day. I take them with a meal, usually in the morning. It does say that if you're pregnant or nursing a baby, you need to, or taking prescription, consult a doctor. But anyways, this was sent to me from the company. They had reached out to me and said, would you like to test this? And I make no bones about the fact that my hair is thinning and I'm really trying to do whatever I can to enhance my hair. I said, sure, but I was on the fence a little bit, but Tara from Beauty in the Bargain had been using this. She had talked really highly about this, and I think a few other people, I think it might have been Kristen321 also talked about it, so I'll link her video below and Tara's video. But what Tara did is that after she'd been using it for a while, she stopped taking it. She wanted to see if after 30 days, things would change. And her results after 30 days, her hair went back to having a lot of fallout. So she's back on this because she really believes this stopped a majority, not all probably, a majority of the fallout of her hair and made her hair a lot better. So I was like, okay, I, I mean, I trust Tara 100%. Uh, we went go back and forth in DM and she said, no, absolutely. So I'm trying this. Again, this was sent to me for, it, for my honest review, but I'm only into this, started this on the uh, 26th, I believe, of June. So is it too soon to really notice anything? I'm starting to notice something, but I, but I think it's too soon to really say what I'm noticing. However, this is what I'm doing. So I will come back and I will report back to you all about my results on this, but I'll tell you, I couldn't be more excited. I really couldn't be more excited. So anyways, again, my video is probably too long, but I wanted to share all of this with you guys. I hope you have an amazing, when is this gonna go forward? No, it'll not go before. Maybe it will. But anyways, if you see this before the 4th of July holiday, I hope you have an amazing 4th of July. If you see this after the 4th of July holiday, I hope you had a fantastic 4th of July. Thank you all so much for being here with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye-bye, guys.